Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. This video is going to be a little bit different than usual in that um, recently I asked you whether or not you wanted to see some of my early journals. And um, a couple of you said yes. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. <coughs> now that question appeared in the video that I did recently where I was showing a couple of different options for journal covers. And one was using a, um, what are they called? I think a board book, no. Maybe a board book kit or something to that effect. Typically made of... Um, pretty thick material um, and usually with holes punched in it to just insert rings. <coughs> Excuse me. And I gather that that was uh, a craze back in the day, like in sort of a scrapbooking thing. And the other one I showed was, uh, oh my goodness, what was the other one I showed? Oh Lord. Anyway, um, so I just, now I haven't peeked in any of these. I just kind of picked all of these farm related ones. Now, <clears throat> so this will be a journey, journal, a journey <laughs> of rediscovery for me as well. <coughs> I'm sorry. So basically you can see that the thing that all of these things have in common is that they're, they are all, they all have soft denim covers. So let's begin and see what we will see. Um, I remember loving this digital, and this was printed, I think, at half size. So basically, very plain faded denim, and obviously I sewed around it with orange thread because we know that for many jean brands, especially back in the day, the green top stitching was a big deal haven't worried but maybe I should about the fraying and I guess that's the the beauty of early projects that you don't know what you should be worried about um, so oh hey looky there a pocket um, okay we won't belabor this too much oh you will see this image cropping up again and again this is um, you know, obviously a reproduction of an acrylic painting that I did on a full-sized sheet of watercolor paper, so big. Now, it was based on a... Um, so this is my husband looking into, through corral fences, uh, when we had cattle. And it was obviously winter as well, and wearing a quilted coverall. What you don't see, because <laughs> I didn't paint it, is that my daughter was in the photo beside him and wearing like one of those checked, uh, um, you know, red and black flannel shirt type things. So yeah, she's still a, maybe just a wee bit bitter about being painted out of him. Oh, and when Roy saw it, he said, oh, thanks for liposuctioning my butt. <laughs> um, I didn't consciously do that. I think that that's how the photo looked. Anyway, this is um, this is like a mate to that image that's on the cover, and I love it so much because it's the colors are beautiful. I used denim there to hold this down. I see this might be a little kink in there. And this was a piece of um, back in the day when paper toll when doing paper toll was a, a thing. You know, there were all these art prints out there and, and you'd go to, into a craft store like ours and you'd buy six or eight of the same thing and cut it up. I never did get the hang of that. And, um, yeah, my mom was good at it, though. But, yeah, so that was one of those. Um, obviously, I guess I didn't care about having stuff sideways. I do care about that a little more. Now, this... Um, Looks like a dust storm or something. Oh, look at me. I just hinged something way over there. Um, also, clearly, I had folded it and changed my mind. Anyway, she's carrying a cattle whip. Uh, sunflowers were a thing, still a thing that I love. Some uh, dyed paper. Let's go 
going on here? Oh, a gosling. Not Ryan, but, you know, a feathered kind. Um, some, for some reason, I think red gingham kind of says country. Uh, picture, this is just out of uh, probably a farm magazine or something. Here's a weeb. Oh, is this? No, I guess it's just a... Just me covering up the back of that uh, magazine picture. Some digitals. That came out of a dictionary. Oh, that you can rec That's ideals. You can just tell that. This came out of some sort of uh, book. Oh, it's about motors. So it's like something that maybe a salesman would refer to. So tables and numbers and so on. That looks like ideals as well. Yes, it is. The big, wide open skies that we have here in Alberta. That's out of a French dictionary. This is out of probably one of those little notebooks that companies used to give farmers. You know, whether it was the grain elevator, a chemical company, a seed company, bulk fuel agent, or whoever. I don't know that that's still a thing because does anyone still use paper and pencil? Not quite sure what this is. Uh, oh, a guy ice fishing. <laughs> Pioneer. Uh, more of the same, more of the same, more of the same. That kind of says country to me. I used it to back this ideals um, picture. See, I don't know. These days, I don't think I would leave that sentence fragment there, but who knows. This, to me, and I think this was another digital or um, public domain type item. There's a, a, another one of those cows. And that's about it. So this is fairly naked. Um, a corner, uh, yeah, a corner tuck here. And I see that the thing that gave this book some stability was some cardstock that I had stitched to the denim. So there's that. This looks like it might have been modeled on the same principle, same soft wash denim, um, kind of a thicker sticker there. Obviously, I use the same cardstock. This is out of a kid's book of some sort. This is out of some kind of a historical book with, uh, I don't know what those wagons were called. I'm, I'm far too young to know that. Uh, Farm Fresh sticker on some gingham paper. More of the same, more of the same. Those veggies came out of Ideals, dyed paper. This came out of Alberta Beef Magazine. Ideals. Oh, <laughs> I had, I got some thrifted fabric and it was already pre-cut into circles. So the ones that had patterns that I could use, like this little patchwork pig here, I used. Uh, otherwise, it was... Um, I, I don't know what I did with it. Maybe I made yo-yos or pockets or <coughs> who knows. So this is the sort of book that I was talking about. Compliments of the Alberta Wheat Pool. Um, this came out of sort of a historic pioneer type book. Left these strings long, obviously, for a reason. Typical farmer type calculations. Nothing particularly earth-shattering here. Which, I guess, maybe if there is a moral of the story, um, it's that you don't need a great... Oh, here's another little pig. You don't... Oh, and this is a digital that I, you know, um, downsized. Probably four to a page. Um... You don't need to, and this is like the <laughs> big operation. You don't need to have everything under the sun in order to make something quite, um, you know, simple, attractive, and so on. 
Okay, let's see what this one is. Now, the first thing that sort of hits me about this, this one I did not reinforce with cardstock, so it's a lot, I mean, it's, it's soft, um, but it is, um, you know, there isn't much oomph to it. <clears throat> I'll put those things aside for the time being. So again, denim, having this little fringed edge here is really nice. I used a piece of burlap. I used some old, um, well, they would be digitals because I didn't have anything like that. And again, that same painting, a different kind of denim. And three whole pamphlet stitch on everything so far. Okay, let's see what we have inside. Oh, this was just some um, flannelette, and I thought it kind of seemed to go with the denim. Wallpaper border, ideals, <clears throat> same digital. You know, when I first started uh, searching Etsy for digitals, and I'd put in uh, farming or, um, well, probably farming, maybe not so much agriculture, it was there was so little to choose from it was it was sad really um so this is some sort of this was scrap ugh, i hate that some kind of scrapbooking paper but those are heads of, of uh, wheat so uh, that's why i use that again ideals i don't know i guess in my mind i equate oh this is a pocket I mean, this is uh, probably an altered, what is this exactly? I don't know. It feels it feels thicker than an envelope, but it also looks like I covered it with brown paper. Um, somehow, I guess in my mind, I equate, well, yes, this would be a farm type op option, uh, object. Um, But I guess in my mind, pioneering, um, because that typically you think of that as being an on the land kind of an activity, seemed to go hand in hand with uh, farming. Not sure where I got that. That's out of a magazine. That's out of that same, his, uh, you know, old book. Oh, I bought early on in my quest for buying books for journal making, I bought a James Harriet um, book with, that had all these brown colored line illustrations. And I mean, the book was probably an inch and a half thick and oversized. So I did, I got a lot of images out of there. Now he of course was the vet that wrote all of those books um, but he lived in Europe somewhere, <clears throat> so some of the structures and so on didn't really look like Canadian farms, but <clears throat> animals are animals are animals. Um, that's out of a book. More gingham. What have we got here? Oh, I have some stats out of a book. Uh, ripped out the page, obviously, on agriculture. Oh, look, I'm getting fancy here. Woo. Uh, obviously, another ideals, ideals. Oh, and look at me. I bought a <laughs> barbed wire. Um, what is it? A stencil, I guess. Yeah, stencil, not a stamp. So, <laughs> yeah. Enough said. Um, this is out of one of the you 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 recognize that. I don't have to spell it out for you. Look at these old codgers playing cards. Oh, there's even some money on the table. There's the red gingham um, tablecloth, denim checks like stereotypical. The only thing we can't do is hear them telling lies and tall tales. Um, more of that, more of that. Okay, so this is the other half of that thing. There's another one of those from that book. That's very cute, whatever it is. This is <laughs> a still and quiet place, which it is, of course, but rather an interesting collage technique. 
Um, again, I'm not going to use this up for the farmer. Ooh. <coughs> I'm not going to use this opportunity to to uh, bash myself because I probably did the best I could <laughs> at the time with what I had. Oh, so let's see what else we had here. Um, another digital, which I was probably turning into a journal card. Oh, this is a family that we know because they were featured on this thing. Um, an envelope, another piece of ideals, more out of that farm book or that history book, and yet another one of these. I guess we don't need both in the same, but we'll just leave this intact for the time being. Okie dokie, now we're getting into bigger books. Okay, so, see, there, and I don't know if this, I doubt that this is the order in which I made them, but, so now we have, we've evolved. We've got two types of denim, a pocket, a little whatever there, collage -y type thing. This came out of a kid's book, and I liked it got quite a few good images out of there although again it was from somewhere in Europe so I don't know any farmer that walks around like that to be honest or wears those goofy hats but um obviously somebody's digital this was a I don't know what there's another one of those illustrations and I use oh look at me experimenting with <clears throat> uh, oxide spray and this wrapping paper that looks like burlap, which I thought was so good. Oh, look, another thing, a pocket. And there is that same flannelette, and this is that same book. Now, again, this is not a Canadian farmer or North American farmer, but he gets, he gets, he made the short list because of the animals. More of the cow border. This, uh, I think, yeah, she came out of the same book. So she's got a scythe. And I ba I fussy cut her and backed her onto something uh, and used that paper. So this is, um, this was just eight and a half by 11 stationary paper that was denim, like with that one seam there. Oh, oh, this needs reinforcement here. This is a reproduction of one of my of, uh, paintings. It's acrylic, and I love it. White cow, red cow. <laughs> I used all my creativity to name this painting. Now, um, this, well, let's just say the painting is much better than this reproduction. The problem is that around the time that I was painting these things, of course, a, a professional <laughs> professional artist would always seal their acrylic paintings. <clears throat> so even though I never used, uh, you know, glossy finish of any kind, um, but taking photos off uh, paintings that have been sealed is not the, is not the easiest thing. I, I should actually take new photos because both cameras and techniques have improved over the years. This is obviously out of a kid's book. There's a black and white out of, I guess, an art book of some sort. I've done another um, thing here. Maybe these are envelopes. I must have thought farmers meant sunflowers because I have this in here as well. Plus, when I came across these note cards, I think I bought all they had like box after box, but there is the, the um, collaging seems to have improved slightly. So, yeah. Yeah, these are much better. That I thought, would, I included this because it, of the color. This is obviously avocado dyed at the back. Oh, look at me. I used a promotional or, um, you know, um, like an advertising piece, I guess, from a seed company to create this thing. Now, it must have been, oh, yeah, here's the other part. 
Okay, so what did I do? Oh, turn this into a pocket. And, oh my goodness. Did you see how my skill set just blossomed there? Digital collage. Well, digital and book, and that's wrapping paper. I left that as it is. Oh, look, we've up, we've moved up in the world. Now we have some fabric ruffles. Got this turned back. Uh, oh, a belly band. That's quite lovely. Some happy. <laughs> That's just an index card that I inked around and sewed around. And these guys are in here. You've seen that before, you've seen that book before, you've seen this before, and ooh, a cluster, whoa. That's actually pretty nice, you know. That's some dyed paper. This is out of that same book with that farmer. Black and white images. Does this come out? Oh, I guess I must have been covering something up on that page. He was a contrary old man fighting for the land that was his life. Well, if that doesn't epitomize farmers as I know them, then I don't know what does. Now this, this may be the first and last time I did this kind of a thing. It's rather thick because, again, it was one of those trifold advertising things that I turned on its side. Had to cover all the you know, the text, the, the photos that were not, um, you know, we didn't want that. A little image. This was something, it may look like washi tape, but it was really like a paper thing. It was kind of hard to work with, but I figured I kept working on it. Oh, this is an altered paper clip. This was when I knew how to do this. So I think this is pretty effective. Got some burlap there. There's, uh, you know, some cohesion between one side and the other. I do need to relearn how to do these because they are nice. Okay. Uh, this is out of a kid's book on dairies. Just came across some of those images the other day. Oh, yes. I had, I've had i been collecting agriculture stuff for ages. And the it long ago, it outgrew the, the bin it was in. So I thought, let me go through this. Call what shouldn't be there. Use, well, not use, but maybe do a little work on the stuff that should be there. Look, I did a fabric flip with this chicken fabric. This is paper twist ribbon. This is just some kind of burlap-y thing. Uh, quote there from my coloring book page, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes, looky there. Boy, I sure believed in leaving these strings long. Okay, what else? Okay, what's going on here? Oh, this is a paper, altered paper clip. Well, altered. This is just some embroidery floss. There's a, um, you know, vintage scene. That came out of a book, if I'm not mistaken. And then, look at, I'm just so creative. I cannot believe this. A bulb pin attached to the bottom of that with a gear. More Harriet illustrations. And just that more burlap. I rather like that. Honestly, those bulb pins drive me nuts. And I remember when I first saw people using them, I'm thinking, I must have bulb pins. Ah, uh, <laughs> a cow from that same book. Oh, this was a collage that I had done. 
These are actually sand dunes here, but I thought the color was so good. And look at those cows. Uh, and here, I guess I just used, what is this anyway? Probably pattern paper to cover up whatever the text was. I just, I really don't like when things are sideways, but oh, here I just, I guess, stamped on a dyed card. Again, with some, um, what do you call it, barbed wire. This was just eight and a half by 11 scrapbooking paper. This is the back half of that Hannah Seeds thing. This is the other part of the envelope. Oh, look at this fanciness here. An old threshing machine. That's some crazy stitching there. I don't know where, where I got these teeny tiny little images, but they're darn cute. Now, you'd have to be writing beyond, like in between the spaces. Again, those tiny little things. I don't know if that was a cover sheet on somebody's digital set or what. Um, again, I think my collages were improving. That's part of a painting. And then what? Oh, I had, um, I took part in this tourism event. What year was this? I hate when nobody dates things. Anyway, yeah, I had a uh, I had a standalone art studio and gift shop, but uh, that's another story. Stress and farming coping tips. Oh, this is <laughs> this was selectively trimmed off a sympathy card, and I just thought it looked so dramatic. And, uh, of course, that's the end of the book. I should check and see how much time has gone by. Oh, I should say that the last video, uh, what was it on? Was I talking about the baby journal? I stood up to turn the, the phone off. Oh, one more. This is the fattest one. It's a th whoa, three signature. Um... And again, this is kind of a look, but I think if I had to do this again, probably stiffen the spine so you don't have that that sort of an effect. Anyway, and I realize that the phone is turned off. So I'm thinking, oh, brother, what the hell? When did it happen? And, of course, I don't have the time.